Number three, identify the postulate of Dalton's theory that is violated by the following observations. 59.95% of one sample of titanium dioxide is titanium. 60.1% of a different sample of titanium oxide dioxide is titanium. Okay. So we want to know which one is violated, which means, oh gosh, what happened there? So we want to know which one is violated, which means we want to know which one out of the five postulates, you know, doesn't fit with the postulate. So which one, what does this tell us as far as how is this wrong? All right. So here we have the same compound. Now I say compound, titanium dioxide, because it has two elements in it, right? If I write out titanium, titanium dioxide, I should have two elements, right? Titanium and dioxide. Forget the di for now, but oxide comes from oxygen. So I have two different elements, right? You can find titanium on the periodic table. Titanium is Ti on the periodic table, and I can find oxygen on the periodic table. It's just O, all right? So those are your two elements, and together they make titanium dioxide. Now they're telling us that one sample, sample one, was 59.95% titanium, so 59.95% TI, and then they have a different sample, sample number two, they told us that it was 60.10% titanium in titanium dioxide. Now it's all stemming from a compound, right? Titanium dioxide is a compound. And technically, there's only one postulate that has to do with compounds, just compounds. Which one is it? Which one is the one that has to do with compounds? It is number four, right? Now, if you didn't know this, go back to question one. That's the one that I go into depth into Mr. John Dalton's five postulates. So I'm assuming that you guys have read through these. You did one and two and you guys are familiar with the postulates. But if not, just go back, all right? But number four states that a compound, whatever it is, consists of atoms of two or more elements, which are formed in a whole number ratio. Now, we should know that if it's a compound, the whole number needs to be consistent. It will be the same ratio. If you have sample one of titanium dioxide and sample two of titanium dioxide and it's titanium dioxide, it's the same compound. So technically, the ratio should always be the same. And we can always turn the ratio into a percent, right? If we just times it by 100. So remember, a ratio is just something over something else. So, you know, A over B. And we could always turn it into a percent by timesing it by 100. And that's how you get the percent. So look at these percents. Are they the same or are they different? 59.95 versus 60.1. They're different, which means that the ratio is different. So that's why uh, we'll just say postulate number four is violated because postulate number four says that a compound, any certain compound, will always have the same ratio, which means that the percentages should stay exactly the same for that compound. And since these have two different percentages, the ratio's off, therefore it's not the same compound, right? So that's the postulate that was violated, number four. All right, guys, I hope this helped out. If it did, click that subscribe button. You got tons more questions coming your way. You guys would probably know the, want to know the answers to them, right? Um, in that case, I'll see you guys all in number four. Have an awesome day.